Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. There was so much going on Prime Empire related. We recently got the season premiere, and also a bunch of new footage is released, but today I want to talk about the official trailer for Prime Empire, which has recently been released on the LEGO channel. So we're just going to go over it and analyze it and break it down as we normally do. So the trailer begins with Jay starting up the game. We see all of this in past trailers, so I'm just gonna skip all of that. Now, first we see the ninja approaching this arcade box, and this is sometime after Jay's been sucked into the game, so naturally they're wondering where he is. A little visual shows up on the arcade box, you get to see some flames, and then the Prime Empire logo shows up. And now we get to see Borg. He actually mentioned something about how 800 players have been sucked into the game, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Lloyd high fives Zane and then he rushes into the game, Cole following behind. If you look actually to the left of Zane's head on the TV in the background, that is actually footage from old Ninjago seasons. It's kind of hard to tell, but that's actually what it is. Here's Cole's entry into the game, kind of descending down from this pillar of light. Now we see Cole, Nia, and Kai inside the game. Now here's a look at preparations for the 5 billion speedway. We see some rats walking around, some other racers are present such as the brute guy and racer 7. So Lloyd meets Scott, Scott is leaning against this car, and he basically talks about how everyone in Prime Empire has 4 lives, so then the ninja actually bring up their health bars, these are the same health bars we see in these sets of course, and now the ninja talking about how they need to get the Kitanas in order to escape. Speaking of the Kitana, here it is, we see this shot in the last trailer, but this time the Cyber Dragon's tail is actually lurking behind, so yeah. Here's Okino introducing himself and wielding his sword, the ninja and Okino running through a maze, the wall closing behind them. Now this definitely is the Cyber Dragon, and as you can see it also has a health bar above it, which I think is super cool, they're treating it like a real video game boss, but it looks to be evil, hence the red and yellow colors, perhaps before Jay defeats it. The 5 billion race, Racer 7 likely in the jungle raider, and Kai and Cole in Kai's jet. Now here is Tsushimi in this kind of like temple-ish room. We see Tsushimi and Jay in the other trailer fighting in the same room. Racer 7 here, she talks about how she feels like she is designed to lose, so perhaps she's actually an AI. Another shot of the race, we get to see a lot of this in the trailer actually. And here I swear Lloyd better not be flirting with Racer 7. But anyways he talks about how he would prefer if they work together, so definitely some season 4 vibes here. Unagami in the sky here, raging, and here we get to see his hologram, and he talks about how he wants to destroy the ninja. Nia is also in the shot as well, and now here is the red visor army aiming their guns at probably the ninja. We've seen this shot before, the ninja suiting up, getting ready for battle. Now Lloyd running towards something, someone, shouting Ninjago and ready to strike with his sword. Ninja running through this area where the cyber dragon was. For some reason, they're destroying these winged statues, so not quite sure what's up with that. Now Cole jumping on these red visors heads, and that kills them, which yeah, basically like Mario, so that's pretty fun. Nia in the same area where Tsushimi was, fighting this woman with a meat cleaver, so that's pretty cool. Jay facing down the cyber dragon, and here's a good look at its head. Here's Scott wielding a gun, and he says, game on Unagami. The jungle raider making a turn here, and here we see Nia in the tuner car, and one of the rats pulls a Mario Kart move and actually throws a bomb into her car. Nia, Lloyd, and Cole inside Borg Tower. While Cole's playing, it looks like the others are getting ready for battle because as we see in this next scene, they whip out Spinjitsu against Ultraviolet and Soto who are somehow in the building. I think what happened here is they're actually helping out the mechanic and joining Unagami alongside him. And here's the Ninjago version of Just Dance. Here we see Nia and Jay dancing again, gaining points. One of the ninja in the tuner car and they come up against the red visor cars. Now here's Kai in the air latching onto a drone and shooting the red visors. Lloyd tries to jump over the building but splats against the wall, and then Cole suggests they try a double jump, which actually works because, you know, video game logic. Cut to the real world Ninjago, here's Zane, Pixel, Wu is there too, and behind Pixel is some man running up who actually looks a lot like Milton Dyer. Nia is trying to climb up a building but a red visor is giving her a hard time, Cole is also down there too but he's being fired at by a drone, and many more red visors are flying up from below. Nia, Lloyd, and Jay in this platforming style video game, and then they use this boost pad to jump up. Nia almost falls off, but it's okay because Jay's got her. Now a close up of Cole driving some sort of vehicle. Here's Kai, he's in his mech, probably in the race. And here in that same level is Nia carrying Lloyd and Jay and doing what appears to be air jitsu. Now this is not a confirmation of air jitsu being back for good. Instead though, I think it's because they're in a game and not actually in the real world. Cole and Nia jump into a wall leaving Lloyd behind as he's getting fired up by red visors and Jay's pushed to the edge of this platform by a bunch of red visors here. 
We get a final shot of the Prime Empire intro, then the Ninjago logo, and then the best part of the trailer is Jay doing a Fortnite dance. And yeah, this is actually from Fortnite. It's a dance called the Hype Dance. And to those of you who think this is cringe or it doesn't belong in Ninjago, fear not because then Jay gets killed in the next shot, or he loses a life rather. It wouldn't be a gaming season without some gaming references here and there. Anyways, that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone ever you know. Let me know what you guys thought of this trailer, and I'll see you next time.